For many women, the first time they suspect they may be pregnant is when they suffer something known as morning sickness. Why it's called morning sickness? Not sure. Okay, you feel it as soon as you get up in the morning, but it doesn't just last the morning. Nausea and vomiting affect about 70% of all pregnancies. It usually starts between four and eight weeks of pregnancy and continues up to 16 to 18 weeks. I'd be sitting at work just like, ooh, and just feeling rough and licking it as well. When people say they've got morning sickness and you say, oh yes, I've, I've had that, I don't think people realise just how bad it can be. And women need support through it. You know, it's no good just saying, oh yes, I know what it feels like. You don't. It's different for every woman. You do your makeup all nicely in the morning thinking, you know, I've got to try and make make myself look good so I, you know, they don't look at me and think, God, you can tell she's been throwing up all morning, you know. So you try and go in with that radiant glow and you get into work half an hour later, your makeup's just like, and you just like, I want to go home. It's thought that it's due to a combination of factors, including relaxation of the smooth muscle of the stomach and raised hormone levels, namely oestrogen. Super heightened sensitivity to onions and garlic. Just made me wretch. I was cooking like, at arm's length and I could smell a chopping board at like three or four metres, literally just from if you'd ever cut onions on it or anything. First time around I was really very sick with Evie and I, and I don't know if it's because with your second time around you can't lay there going, oh, I'm pregnant, I need to pick up, you sick again. Just don't have time to think about it, just, just get on with it really. To counter nausea and vomiting, there are numerous remedies from complementary therapies, including reflexology and homeopathy, to eating dry biscuits. I think I ate mashed potatoes and bread and ginger biscuits, and that was about it for a good few weeks. Ginger biscuits, crystallised ginger. The ginger ginger beer worked for a little while, um, but then it really didn't. <laughs> so, no, I can't face ginger ever again. Um, old travel sickness bands, they're brilliant. I wear them absolutely constantly. I had marks in there. In fact, I've still got them from where I wore them for like four months non-stop. So while nausea and vomiting is a common occurrence, if it continues past 18 weeks, medical advice should be sought. It just didn't go away. I was expecting at 14 weeks for it to disappear or 16 weeks because that's what the books say, you know. I just kept hanging on to hope that one morning I would feel up and not feel sick. But um, no, it carried on and I vomited and vomited for England and did have to, to have a drip and be rehydrated because it got so bad. I also fainted quite a lot and my children in the end used to call to, uh, to my partner and say, why is mummy lying down in the hallway um, again? Tracy had a more serious condition known as hyperemesis gravidarum, which lasts the whole pregnancy. It was wonderful to wake up the day after having my child, in fact, the moment after having my children, being brought a cup of tea and it tasting like tea and being able to eat toast and feel normal, it was fantastic. It really was that quick? That quick. Just went great. <laughs>